I'm Nick Miles and we are at Dick Hanna Hyundai of Portland to show you this. This is the 2022 Hyundai Palisade and for 2022 they have introduced the calligraphy edition with some new exterior styling, some new interior styling and of course this is one of the best SUVs to take your family on an adventure. We're going to show you how it handles on the road, show you some of what's new on the outside and some of the tech and the new interior materials. So let's get going. So one of the great things about this vehicle is the fact that it has such good power when you're talking about a three row SUV. Now a lot of times car companies make vehicles that are a little bit underpowered but this is a full-on luxury ride. Doesn't need to be a sports car that can haul the family anywhere with just the right amount of power. Now it has a self-leveling suspension in this vehicle so if you're towing something it'll keep the whole car level. That by itself is a piece of engineering marvel. Now this vehicle also has a lot of safety and security features with it as well. Now as you turn right or left, it uses the cameras in the mirror to show you your blind spot. Now I have my right indicator on right now and it's showing me down the right side of the vehicle in my dash. If I put my left indicator on in the dash, it'll show me a picture of what's down the left side of the vehicle. So that makes it extremely safe. And then of course Hyundai, one of the original pioneers, of the forward collision mitigation system so this vehicle automatically looks ahead of you and will brake to make sure that you don't hit something uh, as you're going forward. Now if I want to put my foot down a little bit it doesn't take long to get up to 50 miles an hour. It's just well balanced, it's easy to drive. One of the things that Hyundai did and did very well is gave it really good steering dynamics. So as I steer with this vehicle, I can place it exactly where I want to in the road. It doesn't matter if you're worried about driving a big vehicle and often those people that have to drive bigger vehicles get a little bit nervous about driving as something as big as the Palisade. It's just easy to maneuver. In the calligraphy, talk about interior, this vehicle they've really stepped up the interior design. So you have wood style trim throughout the interior. This has a dark blackened wood. For 2022, it now gets a diamond stitching style leather on the interior door panels. It gets microfiber suede headliner as well. So that's really nice. And of course, it has the sunroof with the shade at the front here, as well as a shade and a second uh, sunroof or moonroof in the uh, second half of the vehicle. It has a large screen which almost looks like it's part of the whole dash here. And then in front of the driver there is that thin TFT screen, no analog gauges anymore. Um, also there is a very high-end rear seat reminder system in this. It actually scans the back of the vehicle to see any movement and if it sees movement it will warn you uh, if there is something moving in the back of the car that you've left something in your rear seat. So that is also something that's great. Now because it has push button transmission. There is a shelf here underneath uh, to make sure that you can store some things while driving. It also has perforated steering wheel uh, here at the front. Heated and cool seats for the driver and passenger. Heated steering wheel and they are all buttons. HVAC controls are really easy to see at the front here and of course your drive modes and it has multiple drive modes again with their all-wheel drive system. Drive modes include comfort, eco, uh, the snow, smart and sport mode and then a, a lock button for your all-wheel drive mode as well. There is these aluminum style trim buttons on the inside here that allow you to select things as well as have the push button system at the top but you can select map, navigation, radio, media, you have your emergency four-way buttons then seek, track, your favorites and your setup buttons plus hard scroll buttons for your volume and your tuning as well plus it's very easy to reach the touch screen so it's within reach of the driver and passenger quite easy to get to everything 
It's just nicely decked out, beautiful colors, soft touch dash, nice soft touch doors. Everything's within reach of everybody in the car. And there is something that is really thought inside of this called quiet mode. And that is at night, if you activate quiet mode, it moves all of the audio to the front seats, keeps the back seats quiet so people can get some sleep or kids can get some sleep in the back seats and reduces the volume to seven. So people in the back seats don't have to listen to the parents' music at night. Of course, all of the things you'd expect in a high-end SUV are there. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Blue Link. You can also use applications on the inside of this vehicle from your Apple Watch. And there is many things you can operate from your Alexa at home to uh, start and stop the vehicle and get the latest information to and from your vehicle via your smartphone. So totally connected at the same time as all of your devices will work with the vehicle. The Palisade first showed up in 2018 and was kind of a jaw dropper when people saw it because it didn't really look like anything Hyundai had ever done before. Remember, this is the biggest SUV that they've ever made, a three row. But this vehicle also looks so much more than Hyundai have ever put out. It looks luxurious, it looks large and very capable, but it also looks distinctive, something that wouldn't look missing on a royal estate back in England. Now when they designed this vehicle they said they wanted it to look a little bit like an alligator poking its eyes out of the water and I can sort of see that when I look at the front of this vehicle. So what do you get at the front of the Palisade? And remember it's been updated for 2022 especially in the calligraphy edition it looks more refined but this vehicle has been sort of smoothed off it had some fine tuning for 2020. The hood, and there's a lot going on, has this power bulge right in the middle and this sort of very smooth shoulder line at the sides. Now, of course, it still has those distinctive lights at the top, at the bottom, and this small one in between. Large Hyundai emblem right in the middle of the grille, and the grille has a lot going on with piano black and silver below the grille, air intakes, and then below that, the nice silver silver piece which goes all the way across the front really to resemble some kind of dam at the bottom, some kind of bumper guard at the bottom if you were going to take this off-roading. There's also some lower air intakes on the left and the right in piano black and then of course these very very distinctive silver pieces that go around those as well. 20 inch wheels for 2022 on the calligraphy version and Hyundai have always been real masters at making some wheels that look great standing still and even better when the vehicle's rolling. Continuing down the side, there's silver aluminum style accents on the bottom of the doors. The door handles are also have the same look to them, this aluminum silver color. Quite complex lighting structures on the mirrors. Silver or aluminum surrounds of both the windows, roof rails. Coming round to this darkened glass at the back for the third window between the C and D pillars at the back. A nice aero spoiler at the back which houses the brake light and then the lights really reflect at the back the front lights. Continuing the luxury vehicle theme, the name written all the way across the back of the vehicle like you'd see in some high-end luxury vehicles, windshield wiper in the middle of the rear windshield and of course dual exhausts at the back that look very square and beefy to give you an idea that this vehicle can go places fast. Now once you open the trunk at the back or the rear lift gate you'll get about 18 cubic feet of space. Now if you put these uh, seats down in the back here you'll get an increased space of just around 45 cubic feet and they can be put down with this button here. Now the third row goes down electrically and the headrests go down also automatically. If you want to put the second row down they're tip and fold uh, manually and that'll give you just over 86 cubic feet of space here in the back. So you can go to your hardware store and put in your wood or concrete sacks here here at the back and get everything home with 86 cubic feet of space. That is a lot of stuff you can get in the back of this vehicle. 
Now any five-year-old can either climb into the back and go through between the captain's chairs or there's a button down at the side here, you can press that, the seat tilts and rolls forward, they can climb into the back of the vehicle that way. Once you sit into this second row seat, it's heated and cooled. You have access to all your HVAC controls. You have vents in the roof of the vehicle, plus a 12 volt, 180 watt cigarette style outlet. You have a three pin plug, which is AC, 115 volts, a max of 150 watts. Plus you also have access to map pockets and your regular window controls. Now there is also nice leather door trim at the sides of this vehicle. When you get to the third row there is also USB outlets and the second and third row still get to look up out of this moonroof. So if you're interested in a 2022 Hyundai Palisade, come down to Dick Hanna Hyundai of Portland. There are plenty in stock and they'd love to get you on a test drive and to put one in your driveway.